Hi, my name is Darby Hudnall. I'm a sophomore mechatronics engineering major, and this is my story about my college experience. I entered UNC Asheville with a love for learning, both within my major and in the liberal arts. As a freshman, I felt nothing was too difficult for me to accomplish. I joined various clubs and a sorority, took on two part-time jobs, took a heavy course load, and got involved in the organizations within my department. However, during my first semester of sophomore year, I reached my limit and discovered I could not do everything. This semester has so far been the most challenging semester of my academic career. Let me explain what happened and how I got through it. I began this semester as I began my first two semesters at UNCA. I signed up for 18 hours, continued with my previous commitments, and even searched for new activities. Within about three weeks, I learned that this semester would not be like my previous ones. As a sophomore, I was taking three of the first real courses in my major. They quickly proved to be more difficult and time consuming than any courses I had ever taken. In general, sophomore level courses can often be difficult for students because they require the student to alter the structure of their reasoning and problem solving to fit the requirements of their major. This was definitely the case for me. That semester, I was enrolled in three engineering courses, a physics course, and a course for the honors program. After realizing I was in over my head, I had to decide on my priorities. In order to succeed in the courses required for my major, I decided the most logical decision was to withdraw from the honors course. To create more time for studying, I also had to decide which commitments were most important to me. Cutting back on my commitments and coursework relieved some of the stress, but I was still in for a challenging semester. That semester, I felt I could not catch a break. I continuously had homework, even on the weekends. This definitely helped improve my time management skills, but by the end, I was completely burnt out. A nice thing about college is that a semester is a finite period of time, and then students get a long break before beginning a new one. If you are having a difficult semester, I recommend giving it your all for that period of time, keeping in, it in mind that it will come to an end. My semester eventually came to an end, and that month-long break was what I needed to recharge and come back a new student and a new semester. I was often disappointed in myself that semester because I was not earning the grades I was used to. I was experiencing my first weed out class, and that class almost broke me several times. It seemed I could never do anything right in that class, and for a while I feared that I would fail the class. However, I decided I would not give up on any of my classes that semester, even the weed out class. I continued to attend class every day and put forth my best effort regardless of my standing in my classes. If you are in bad standing in a class and you think you may fail it, I highly recommend not giving up on it, especially if it is in your major. You will have to retake it anyways, and final exams can change grades drastically. You may end up doing better than you think. My mistake was in my focus on my grade rather than the learning of the material. I think many of us get so focused on earning grades that we forget why we are in school working towards a career. In the real world, it is, not, it is more important that you have a strong understanding of your field than your GPA. I discovered this when I was about at my breaking point that semester. One day when I was breaking down in my room over the stress, I thought to myself, how important is this really? Is this worth stressing over? In five years when I am in my career, will my exact grade in this course really matter? My response to this was no. At the end of the day, Life is too short to be so worried over numbers and letters. These values do not represent one's self-worth and dignity, and they were no longer going to dictate my life. From that point on, I decided to approach my classes in a new way. I now pursue my coursework with the sole purpose of learning the material. I believe when one is truly engaged in their learning, rather than making specific grades, the high grades will come naturally. And even if they don't, it is more important to learn the material anyways. That semester was rough, and without my friends, professors, and teaching assistants, I would not have made it through. It is, it is important to not be afraid to ask for help, even if it may be embarrassing. There are plenty of resources available to help students at this university, and not utilizing at least some of them is a waste. While that semester was the most difficult in my life, I learned a great deal and grew as a person. I learned to prioritize my commitments, manage my time, focus on learning the material in my classes rather than my grades, and reach out for help when needed. 
I also learned that a different perspective can make all the difference. I came back to school this semester believing I would have a good semester, and so far I have. Life really is too short to let every negative occurrence bog you down, and I encourage everyone to remember that. It is unhealthy and unnecessary to carry stress around constantly. It is best to focus on what is going right and simply try to improve weaknesses. Always remember that your mental and physical health are the top priority. If you are having a difficult time with your studies, you are not alone. I believe that every student experiences obstacles in their academic career. It is simply important to overcome those obstacles and have a positive perspective. A wise professor once told my class, always try your best. Things may not always go your way, but they have a tendency to turn out for the better when you give a conscious effort every day. I have learned to live by this philosophy and now focus on the great opportunities I have rather than the ones that I've missed. Another challenge I have faced during my college career is being considered a minority in a group for the first time. In engineering, women make up a much smaller percentage than men, and it is, in, it is apparent in my classes. During my first year here especially, it was difficult for me to relate to and make friends with people in my major besides other females. I've always been more of a girly girl with few guy friends. I think engineering has opened me up to new people. I've realized I have a lot more in common with the people in my classes than I thought. I now really enjoy being a part of a community of like-minded people, people serious about pursuing engineering and serious about their studies. I think being a minority is only a problem here if you allow it to be. If you focus on how you relate to other people rather than what you look like them or not, you will find an accepting environment. Being the minority in a situation is not a negative thing. As a person with a different background than others, I bring a distinct perspective to classes and group projects. My perspective can lead me to approach problem solving in a different way and come up with unique ideas. To people in a situation where they are the minority, I recommend embracing your differences while still connecting with other people. In general, when one is being true to themselves, they are more likely to feel comfortable enough to speak out and come up with novel ideas. College is a whole new experience, and whether you think it will or not, it will change you. This is the time when you find yourself and find people you truly relate to. I know personally I have changed so much in the past six months that looking back, I don't know if I would recognize myself. Embrace the changes. This is the time when many people grow up, becoming mature adults. While earning a degree is important, some of the most important learning in college takes place outside of the classroom. I recommend that people embrace the changes, being willing to put themselves out there and experience new things. Life is too short for what ifs, and not being afraid to put yourself out there can mean meeting life-changing people. I recommend trying as many new things and meeting as many new people as possible as there is not a more free and open environment than college. In short, my advice to all students is to not take anything too seriously. Yes, school is important and you should try your best to succeed, but it is not worth it to be in a constant state of stress. This carries over to relationships with people and outside activities. At the end of the day, nothing is worth compromising your mental or physical health. In fact, it is unnecessary. People are much more productive and creative when they approach things with a positive and open-minded attitude. I learned this firsthand through my challenging semester, and I'm sure you'll see it holds true too. Treat every day like a new day, with new opportunities to be found. Your experience in life is all about perspective, so doesn't it make sense to make it a positive one? Thank you for listening to my story.